Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hardcore Heroes Arcadia. Here we are. Here we are. It is the day. The ballistas are all done. Um, the soldiers are gathering in the castle square, the keep square. Everyone's a little bit antsy because they know what today is. Even though it hasn't really been talked about throughout town much, this has kind of been kept mostly to the people involved and Operations have kind of not really been on the down low, but it's well, the it's been on the down low. I mean, yeah, like even we were even trying to keep the ballistic construction as secret as possible from a dragon flyover. Right, right. But it's you know yeah, people still know. Point, the soldiers still yeah. talk to people in town, but it's been kind of this mild thing happening in the background. And now that it's coming to light, there's a, a bit of a tension in the air. Um, mm -hmm. People are a little bit more quiet, and as the town sees ballistas rolling out through it, um, the streets just kind of empty a little bit. There's still people going about their business, but you know, looking out from your tower window, you can see them hurrying from building to building. Maybe not running, but you know, walking a little bit quickly, and no one's out and around, just lounging about. The uh, town has yep. a, a still feel to it. Oh, can I have cast stone skin on the night yesterday? Sure. Yeah. And just a reminder, we did do. I did cast an explosive runes on whatever on... sign we had made. Right. Ah. Um, are you? The, I, are your? Um. Hold on. Is the the stone skin for you D four plus three or D four plus four? Four. Okay. And so I can recast on me as well. Remember. Right. You clear yours and cast it on you as well. Yes. Okay. okay. And for so, the record, I think my explosive runes is is my sigil of chaos, the double cross. Nice. I don't know if it's just one of those or if it needs to be a if runes is plural. If there's just like a whole string of. I think it's the chaos. royal plural in that in, for mm -hmm. explosive runes. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, memorizing our spells. I, 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 if we survive this, I'm. I, we're gonna get to the end of the fight with just like a fuck ton of magic missiles left, and yeah. not know what to do with them. But we shall see. I'm trying to work out what I want to put in my spell list. Yeah, so I've already got my spell list sorted out. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Like 40 spell levels, so I won't bother reading it out. I've downgraded a bunch of spell levels too. I assume that's still cool, Neil. So I've got a bunch of second level spell slots that are magic missiles and things. Fair. That's third uh, level okay. spell slot, third level dimensional spell slot that's in second displaced cell. Sure, you're just loaded blah, with blah, magic blah. missiles. Uh, I've right. only got two magic missiles. Okay. And then two, and at some point, uh, so while I was in Misty Rapids, I put another in the amulet. So I am down a strength and a wisdom. But hey, I, I need as little wisdom as I can get if I'm going to fight a dragon. Mm -hmm. um, today, the, the skies are just a little bit cloudy, and there's a, a light rain falling over everything, helping to kind of silence the, the activity in town yeah. and give it a, a little bit of a darker feel. Did I ever hear anything about my ranger, uh, Lance? Remember I had left a note at his door, as well as a mule and a cart to come to Shirebrook? Right, that was... When did you do that? Okay, you did that after just... you teleported back home. So that was just shy yeah. of a week ago. And mm -hmm. you told them to come here to Shirebrook? I told them to come to Shirebrook with the with the cart. He would, and there would be a dragon to butcher. So I don't know if he's made it uh, yet. Would yeah. It... You or... probably... He shows up today at some point. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so let's get our buff straight for it's... the night, though. Oh, sorry, you do your but, thing with the ranger. Uh, that's, I don't think I need to do anything with him. I assume he does, has no interest in participating in the battle. Absolutely not. He'll just be hanging out oh, in the okay. town and he'll hop in to help me taxidermize my loot. So what's your duration on enlarge? Pretty long. Uh, it's like 40 minutes or something crazy. Okay, so you can just cast yeah, that right 45, before... The, 45 minutes. Right before the Cal gold feather goes think, down. And I think that's the only buff... I do have a potion of speed if you want to save a spell slot on the haste. That's good because it means, I, it means I don't have to cast the haste if you want to give it to them. And we can just have them drink it. Yeah, and it, it might might last 
longer. I don't think it lasts much longer. Hmm. Either way. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll give it to the knight if, if you're willing to give it up. Yeah, I can. I've got the recipe, and it's a utterly useless item for PCs because it requires a system shock check. What is this? Neil got rid of it. And potion of speed. Basically, it's a haste spell right. in a bottle. It doesn't require the system shock right now. It ages you one year, unless yeah. If it doesn't I, require I, system I, shock, then it's then it's OP, and I should just be checking them all the time. Uh, but you can't. You can still only cast one spell per round with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can yeah. Still yeah. Run at double speed. I. Can I feed it to my phantom steed? No. It doesn't your phantom steed doesn't consume things. It's an illusion. Can you feed it? Can you feed it? It's not an illusion. It is a it's a conjuration. Okay. Can you feed Maybe it to then. a regular horse? Probably. I don't know. Why don't you try these things? <laughs> All right. Uh, I will hand the potion of speed to the knight then. All right, so I'm making. I want to make a list of all of your troops and all of their attacks and all of your abilities and all that jazz. So you've got 44 light crossbowmen. No, 22 light and 20 heavy. 22 light, okay, and 20 heavy. And they're going to be organized. There's going to be seven groups. So each group's going to have a ballista, two men on the uh, one man on the ballista. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me just make these notes one at a time. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, I'm going to get lost. Um, So heavy crossbow is d10 plus one against a dragon. Um, light crossbows d8 plus one. Heavy crossbows get an attack every other round. Okay. Um, what else do you, you've got? Um, how many ballista? Seven. Seven light ballista. And let's figure out what the attack bonus is and the damage is for a light ballista. Plus Sorry. eight to hit. The damage, I think, is 2d6. And it can fire once every eight rounds. Plus eight, comma three d six against large. But it, Ooh. it's remember Neil, it, it always strikes versus AC ten, and then there's there's modifications for distance and speed of movement of the target. And right, maybe, it ignores armor more or less. Maybe if the dragon's got exceptional armor, though, you might want to right, give it right. a bonus that. Right. The dragon is really big, so it might. The dragon might have some ability to deflect. Where's that bit about it ignoring armor? Uh, somebody posted it to me in Discord last week. That... I think it's combat Does this tactics. Sound familiar to you, Neil? Because it's no. not a staff gun, though. I assume it just hits versus. Yeah, where is that? I'm looking in the ballista section. So for indirect fire engines, so like. Catap- it's like a like a catapult. Yeah, a- but this can be fired indirect. I think. This is uh, what- no, no, ballistas a are a direct fire weapon. I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the the page it, that's talking about it specifically refers to ballista. Okay. Uh, can you find the the post? Yes. I I want to be on top of all this. Who was it? I think it was. I think this is a case of you. Can, oh, all, okay. Direct fire engines. All targets are considered armor class ten. This is all page right. 159. Combat tactics. Cool. Yes. The target is a creature. Bonuses from dexterity and magical protections of fly. Okay. Following you. rule is just for yes. Plus three for stationary. Minus three for targets moving at a moving rate greater than three, but less than twelve. Minus six for moving at a moving rate twelve. Plus yes. two for targets who's large. So there is a bonus for size. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Page one fifty nine. Yeah, I'm taking a look. Um. This is so exciting. Aren't we rolling these though? Like, yeah, I just want to have everything written down so that there's not a confusion in battle where we're asked trying to figure this stuff out. I just want all our calculations done ahead of time. Yes, my eye. I know you know all the rules. The trouble is you guys know all the rules to all the editions, and you often get them confused. Yes.
Okay. Um, we should probably bring up the battlefield map. Yes, I'm just I'm still writing down notes. I want to get yeah us 100. percent I hope that the the knight rolls a 20 on the dragon on the first hit because then I'll have the breath weapon up after that. Because if you if she rolls a 20 to hit with that plus five sword, it's gonna do like like huge damage. I can see you doubting it, Neil, but you wait. You'll see. Um, the plus five doesn't get added or multiplied during crits. Yeah, I know, but it's going to be a big crit, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it would be 2d12 on a crit. At least. What is Might that, Ryan? <laughs> Chad is disgusted by my What is that? Beverage. Is that kombucha? <laughs> with the you'll com- never know. Yeah, it's the leftovers. It's the bottom of kombucha. It's okay. It's like, not the kombucha geez. starter, though. No. Oh, what no. is kombucha? It's, like, it's a, a gross fermented drink. gross drink. It's like a fermented sugar water, basically. Weird. Yeah. Um, this like is the leftover drink. fruit, so it's like chunks of lychee and uh, ginger and chia seeds. So it's like it looks delicious, alcohol it? or something. Uh, it is. Really it's like point five percent alcohol. Less than no, it's like less than a percent. It's mostly gets converted to. Acetic acid, I think. Some kind of acid. Sounds but delicious. <laughs> I'll preach the benefits of kombucha another time, hopefully. <laughs> so is our plan still to is my plan still to seal off the cave? I think so. As soon yeah. as the dragon leaves. Yeah. So we we do want a um is, Chad is trolling me, aren't they? The, now that don't, I said that they know all the rules to all the editions, they're like, Ryan, what feats did you take? Don't, don't. Are you a war caster? <laughs> try, try not to engage them. <laughs> their, their purpose is to distract you from your task at hand. Yeah. And if you're distracted, so, you're going to die. So the risk of sealing off the cavern is that we will have a dragon on the loose. Like if the dragon decides not to engage, it could just fly off and terrorize the countryside. Yeah, but we do have a flying fighter and long range weapons. Yeah. Yeah. If it does do that though, we are gonna have to chase it. But uh that's when I turn into a Pegasus and you get on my back and we fucking magic missile that bitch from the air. <laughs> okay, just gotta write down all the things for all the things. I think I know what all the things are. On what strength this knight has. With any luck, we could get it quite high with the strength spell. Okay. Yeah, do you wanna roll do you wanna roll the strength spell now, Neil, so you can factor it in into her? Yes, that's that's a good damage. idea. Um yeah. someone roll it? I will roll it. Since it is the only time I've ever cast this goddamn spell, I think. I oh, know I might cast on kind once. Okay. It's uh, uh, an extra right. what? D eight points for fighter. It's an extra D eight, yeah. And then uh, once you get to eighteen, each one only counts as ten percent. Is it strength of stone that you're casting? No, just no, strength. No, just strength. And it lasts eight hours, so I'm going to cast it like as we're going to the to the hill, right? This is a second as level well spell. Okay. And that brings her to 17 strength, which is plus one to hit and plus one to damage. Worth. Yeah, definitely worth. Okay. So, so let's talk about okay, how so it's going to be set up. Yeah, let's bring up the battle map and everything. Oh, that's way zoomed in. So this map here is Western Shirebrook. Yeah. Um, the what are these lines? What's the red, the blue, and the green? All right, we've we've changed away from that now. So can we? Let's delete this. Can you delete the black one? Yeah. So the plan now is to have seven groups of of people 
And in each group, there's going to be a ballista, a ballista operator, hmm? a knight with a, a light crossbow, and then like six other people with three heavy crossbows and three light crossbows. Because there's a, there's about there's 42 light crossbows, and then the seven ballista. That's 49 people. So seven groups of seven. Each one's got a knight, a ballista, and seven crossbowmen. And we have enough troops. I sit, there should be a backup ballista operator. Yeah. Okay. Might as well in case. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna have two ballista operators, um, and then six Three crossbowmen. crossbows, six cross and a knight. Seven crossbowmen, of which one is a knight. You've got forty-two crossbows total. That's mm-hmm. six per. Uh, six. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. That, okay. That's six so per ballista. The knight ballista. doesn't have a crossbow. Right. Uh, the knight, knight could take a crossbow, a crossbow instead of having an infantryman. Yeah. With it. Might sure. as well give it to the. Um. Light. So the crossbows don't split evenly, light and heavy. There's twenty-two light and twenty. Yeah. Heavy. Maybe we should just do sure. twenty-one and twenty-one. Let's just modify it so it's even. Sure. So there's Let's three of that. each. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It just makes math easier. All right, and then. Um, and they'll be, they'll be in, they won't be in a mob. They'll, they'll be like within 30 feet of each other or something around the ballista in like more of a line perpendicular to the cave, if that makes sense. Sure. So one well, ballista, two operators, in... three light crossbowmen, mm-hmm. um, three heavy crossbowmen. And they're at the short range of the shortest range thing there. Uh, the, I, think the, sorry. I think ballistas have the shortest range, right? Yeah. So I think it's like 180 yards, is it? Uh, I think it's 55 yards. 55 yards. 165 feet. But unless you disagree, Ryan, I would like one group to be set up right in front of the entrance. Yeah. I mean, I, and, yeah. And then have the rest circling around the back. All right. Well, there is going to be a slight problem with that. Because who is going to be the group that sits right in front of the dragon's lair? How are you going to convince someone to, you know, suicide um, themselves? Or maybe we put two in front, then that way it doesn't seem like. Yeah, that's fine. So there'll be one suicide. like off, off here or something like that. Yeah, I can't move them now for some reason. You should be able to. I mean, you drew them. I should, I should be able to, but <laughs> I can't. No, I can move them all, but. Roll 20 is not perfect. Let's just put yeah, it that no way. Um, but, uh, how did, where'd you find the range on the siege engines? I only see it in the combat tactics that they use. Yeah, but they use the shitty uh, Each of those system. is five yards, I believe. So, fifth, yeah. Each of those are five yard, like, weird combat tactics rules. If you compare uh, Five that squares. To- or each one of them is a, a square. So, 11 is 55. But, oh, 55 what? yards. Yeah. No, 55 time. 55 it's 55 yards. feet. So, but 55 they, they use a different system. The the bow range between combat and tactics and players' handbook. Yeah, I compared are the range of the ballista to the range of the of a long bow. And it's okay. the same, I think. So the short range for a ballista is just slightly shorter than that of a light crossbow. If we compare so is, it, is it 55 yes. yards? Uh, it's actually this. Oh, it's the yeah. It's almost the same. It's five yards shorter than a light crossbow, which is 60. it's one square shorter than a light crossbow. It's five feet yes. shorter than a light crossbow. These aren't these aren't done in yards. So the light crossbow has a short range of of twelve, while the light ballista has a short range of eleven. So it's and, only sixty feet. No, it's sixty yards. No, it's feet because the combat and tactics uses a different scale for maps and combat. They change it to a battle system, and they they change all the things. So we're gonna have to compare the light crossbow range to the player's handbook, yeah. and then do I've already 11 done this. We can of that. Go through it again. Light crossbow has a range of 60 yards according to the player's handbook. Okay, so oh, 11 twelfths of 60. It's 55. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So 55 is short range. For the yeah. for the ballista. For the ballista. All right. So you see my diagram then. The, the, the seven groups are set up like this. There's two in the front, five in the back, and they're all sort of in a 55-yard radius from the entrance. Okay. Okay. Obviously, it's not to scale. Right. Right. But that's the so that's the plan, be... right? Yeah. 
Okay. So are we? So that morning, we are mobilizing all of this. Yeah. Are there any hiccups in that plan? So we probably do this first thing in the morning. Nope, we there are no plans. Um, the the ballista get rolled through yeah. town. The soldiers come packing their crossbows. The knights are there, flying their independent their individual banners. Father Owen walks alongside of you, asking, you know, well, there's a. Without being able to see absolutely everyone, I'll really only be able to to bless the the people around us. So, um, do you have a particular yeah. group? Yeah. Well, I mean. I- I will stand myself in between two groups, and then he can he can he only just bless one group. Is that what you're saying? Just, um, whatever you, wants me. Courage works on one unit. So if these two yeah. crossbow, these two ballista groups are adjacent to each other, we can call them a unit, even though they're not quite because they're going to be uh, close and they're fairly small. Let's not put them too close because I don't want them both getting breath weapons. Let's just have him bless one unit. Okay. So uh, the unit that Father Owen stands by, I'll be the one that the knight. Oh, Stop he's not going to well. stick around. He's going to cast his courage and get the fuck out of there. Well, what's the duration? Um, uh, it allows someone to pass their first morale check. Ah, see, all right, cool. Yeah, but he's got to cast. He's got to cast prevent fear on the knight. Remove fear will last for. Raises the creature's saving throw, rolls against magical fear attacks by plus four for one turn. So, so it minutes. only lasts for ten minutes. So he's going to have to do it. The he'll, ha- he'll have to cast Remove Fear as soon as he sees the dragon, and then he's going to GTFO. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, I get him to bring the protection from Breath Weapon Scroll as well for the night. Okay, it's brought. So she's got the potion, Tyrus' sword, Tyrus' armor. Which Stone potion skin. does Grand. she have? Oh, it's haste, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she's probably going to have to... speed, it's called. Right. It's effects mimic that of haste. She could... Could someone feed her the potion so she can cast... Drink the potion and cast the scroll in the first round or not? No. You can't <laughs> cast a potion. You can't read a scroll while drinking a potion. The two actions sure. are mutually exclusive. Yeah, so it's going to take her two rounds to get going then. Uh, so you start setting so you just like roll the blusses down the road to set it up within 55 yards of the yeah and we're probably doing this at like 9 a.m i would yes, guess it's, maybe even it's earlier noon. it's noon isn't it when we when we bring the gold has the dragon been coming out at noon exactly or does it wait a while after the gold's been deposited well so far people have been coming up throwing bags of money ringing a bell and walking away um it doesn't look like the dragon has ever crawled out while anyone's been standing around to pick up the money. Except for the first time, right? Okay. Um, I don't think you guys saw it come out to pick up its money the first time. I okay. saw it. It didn't come out, but it saw its right. face. Right, right. Sorry, this is okay. a good point. Do you think it's going to come out if we have... Yeah, the, the plan is to make it think that we only have two small units. And then it'll be like, oh shit, there's a whole army behind my hill. Right. Yeah. So Kel Goldfeather is going to be with one of those. She's the knight with one of the two units, and she's going to be the one to go and walk up to it and leave the sign. Okay. Yeah. So are we are we ready? Ooh-wee. I yeah, think so. Well, I mean, so let's take it. Our, I mean, so it's now between nine and ten a.m. The ballistas are in position. The ballistas are in position. Oh, it's going to take a little while because to get those ballistas up on that hill is going to be a huge yeah, pain in the that's ass. What I'm, that's what I'm saying. So we're doing that first thing in the morning. Right. So it's going to take a few hours to get the ballistas all the way out here. And then you're mm-hmm. going to need to do some slight engineering feats and a lot of manpower to get them set up on the ridge, which can be done. It's just going to probably yeah, take that's... maybe four hours or so to get them in position. So we'll okay, say... So we're starting at sun... It's start, this is starting at sunrise then. Right, I right. Guess. You start at sunrise. Everything's in place by, let's call it one o'clock. All right. Uh, no, earlier. Nine right, the dragon four. comes out at noon. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, so you start so at sunrise. So everything's like, in place by They're 11. starting at like six. I think they're, the troops will be mobilizing at like 6 a.m. We'll okay, probably yeah. join them at nine or 10. Help right. them get the ballista the rest of the way up the hill. Right, right. So when we're ready for Kel Goldfeather to start the process, that's when I'm going to cast Fly on the night and Gerg's going to cast Enlarge. Right. Okay. Oh, that's right. You're casting a large. You're going to raise her, increase her size by 90%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll do that around right before noon, I guess. It lasts 45 minutes. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just when we're about to start, I'll cast fly on her. You cast that. And then 
we will get in position. How long does fly last? It's a while. I do have a fly myself. So I'm wondering if I should cast that before the battle. I'm going to cast Polymorph Self before the battle. Yeah. Well, oh, that's a long time. So right around noon, I'm going to cast Fly on myself. And I actually think I'll be... Fl- I wonder if I'm safer on over the river. So let's get everything Polymorph all ready. Self. So all we have to do is run the battle. All right. Um, so I will cast... Uh, around the same time that we cast Fly on the knife, I'll cast Polymorph Self on me. Um, and... What's the duration there, of fly? Uh, uh, an hour and a half or something. Okay. It's, One it's turn per, So for me, it's an hour and a half plus d6 turns. Yeah. yeah. Mine's 80 minutes plus d6 turns. Um, and is... Is there any cover between the cave and where we've got the ballista drawn? Like, is there a bush that I could be crouched No, in? not really. There's some like rocks and stuff. There's some very light cover, but nothing, nothing super big. Yeah, th- th- you'll be able to find some small shrubs, and small I, bushes. I actually, I'll be... be more or less with these two ballista right here. So You're I'm gonna not be on the back. Got me. Yeah, I mean, so the range of my wall of iron is like 45 yards. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think I'll just be at the 55 yard line, and I'll step forward 10 yards if I need to cast that. Uh, enlarges 45 yard rounds for you. Yep. So once I've got everything in place and we're ready to go, I'm going to back off to magic missile range, which is... Who's going to throw the... Um, one question, hold on. Ryan, if you're oh, standing back there, how are you supposed to enlarge the knight? Uh, the knight already... I mean, I walk over to the knight the, and cast enlarge. Which okay, so you're going to cast is... enlarge on the knight and then walk over to the other people? Fly yeah. over. Fly over to the other people? Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's is it the front knight? So. I, yeah. So there's one knight that's going to walk up to the the area, leave a note, and then walk back to the ballistas. Enlarge has a 45 yard range, so right. I will. So I'll have to be. I'll be flying like over the. So I'll fly over the entrance. Cast enlarge. Are you going to cast enlarge like, before she drops the letter or after? Before, I think probably okay. around the same time. So as she's so walking like up, you fly me. over, enlarge her. She puts the note down and walks out. Yeah. So I'm going to be back here 120 yards away from the entrance. So you're 120 yards from the entrance. The The ballistas are 55 yards, so you are another like 65 yards away from the ballistas. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to cast Polymorph Self, and I'm going to try and... Is there a, up here on the top of the hill, is there any trees? There, Yeah, there's some. So can I be like a sprite and be in the tree? Sure. So Georg is this orange square, I guess. Or it can be a G if you guys want. So I'll cast enlarge and then I'll fly back and land and let these guys. Okay. Um, I also am going to cast shield. Hope. How long is the? So I guess we have no data on how long it took for the dragon to emerge, right? No. No. But it seems like it doesn't come out while people are right. watching or hasn't in I'll the cast, past. Yeah. But people okay. also haven't been cast... sticking around to check it. It's kind of been yeah. feed the dragon and run away. Yeah. I'm hoping right. that it's going to come out and read the sign. All right. I, I'm going to cast shield at noon as well, after I'm in position at that okay. place. And then I think we're just waiting. Is there anything, any other prep we want to do? That's the question. Are we, When you guys give us the, the final stamp of approval that everything's set in stone, then we'll go for it. I forgot to change my spells. Make sure you have all your spells figured out. Yes, yeah. I, uh, I figured it out and then had to delete them to use the D8. Strength. I might as well cast an Invis on myself as well. For now. Um. Ryan, are you going to be standing next to those ballistas? Or are you like hovering For, in the air above them? I'm standing between them, so that yeah. This sounds like uh, FLT music. Wait, is it FLT? No, FTL. No, it's not FTL music. It's uh, like a tabletop audio. All things are tabletop audio because they have the best soundtracks. It does sound like it though. Yeah, you can't deny that. I don't remember. 
I believe you, yep. though. It does. I believe you. Fireball, slow, and... No, fireball, fly, and... Mm. Slow or haste, or... Or just two fireballs, really. No, haste. Go for haste. I like it. And then polymorph self and shadow monsters. Alright. So I've already cast the invis, I've already cast the polymorph self, I've already cast the strength. Yeah. Okay. And I've already cast the fly. Alright. Are you guys ready? I think so. <laughs> Are you ready, Ryan? I... As ready as I'm going to be. So everyone knows the plan, right? The knights are keeping morale up. Cal Goldfeather is going to go and leave the uh, the bag in front and then place the sign behind it and go and stand back with the ballista. And the father owns going to cast, like, uh, Cure Fear or whatever on the knight. Right. And then the knight's going to drink its potion, cast its scroll. It might be able to do it in one turn, actually, with the po with the potion, and then go and kill the dragon. She's been warned that the scroll only lasts a few minutes, so she should wait to read it until the dragon emerges. Yes. Okay, so she until will the drink the potion, wait for the dragon to emerge, and cast the scroll. Uh, how long does the potion last? I don't no, think, I think the potion we, lasts that long, either. I think we just do both when the dragon shows up. Okay, so her first two rounds will be buffing herself. Yeah, unless scroll first, after she, then potion. Unless after she has haste, she can cast the scroll the same turn. No, because the I don't think you can you do can you do two like if you've got if you're hasted can you do a potion and an attack and around? No, because she's like hasting herself for the first turn, so you don't get. Okay. It takes the but whole she, the whole round to drink the potion. Drink the potion, then cast potion. the scroll, and move to the dragon on the next round. Uh, no, spell casting still takes the normal amount of time, including reading scrolls. Yeah. Okay. Potion of speed lasts 5d4 rounds. Yeah. Let me just roll that now. I might wait to attack until the, until the night's gone. Actually, no, fuck it, I'm far away. Damn, that potion of heroism would have... Was it a super heroism? What potion of super heroism? Bastions. Mm, mine. It got stolen by the hag. Oh, yeah, well, it would have been very yeah, it helpful. It wasn't much use to me, but for something like this, that would have been... Yeah, it would have been perfect. We, we could have just used any old fighter then. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Um, let me just take a quick look at the scroll of protection from Dragon Breath. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Last 2d4 plus 4 rounds. I'm going to roll all of these things now so we don't have to track them later. <sighs> Like, I guess this means the dragon's coming out. We do a lesson and Neil's like, I don't know. If it right. takes longer, I, I can set up a trap with the wall of iron to smash it with the wall as soon as it walks out. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah, I think we're ready. Ryan? Yeah. Okay. We're going to take a break, and when we come back from the break, we'll see what Cal happens. Yeah. See you guys on the other side. <laughs> 